I was wrong. I thought minions are going to be good, but they are incredible. Uber Lilith behind me vanished. Level 199 opponents in the pin. Your minions simply don't die anymore and do millions of damage. Finally, you can be the buff bot for your dudes. And the synergy between you and your minions is tremendous. And you can play it with a Ring of Mandel or without. But simply, the Ring of Mandel now works with attack speed. Your minions just have to attack and they trigger it themselves. You don't trigger it. You don't have to do lucky hit to have your minions do damage. Your minions have to exist. You have to have the item and boom, millions and uber millions of damage. Gameplay loop looks following. And for that, we're going to go into the pit tier 103. So kind of the hardest it can go because 199 opponent. Now, the fun part is we don't actually have to do anything. <laughs> We just have to walk up to minions and then our dudes are already attacking. Now we can do our corpse tendrils. We can do our corpse explosion to essentially boost the existing damage of our minions. And we do curse to have our opponents curse and then army of the dead to make our dudes do even more damage. In between, you'll always use the golem to become unstoppable just in case you get hit up by elemental hazard. So we're not using our golem for damage, we're using our golem to, in case we get frozen, stunned, or anything, to make us unstoppable. Now, as you can see, without doing anything, just a curse in between is already working perfect. But if I start corpse explosioning, then my minions are getting that 40% damage multiplier and everything going on to enhance them even further. And, well, I can summon the skeletal priest even more often if I want to. But this is essentially it. Truly how a minion summoner should be the minions doing the job you supporting them adding bonus damage to the frame and together the synergy is of the shards and you're well just taking care of everything i mean these are the hardest monsters you can currently find and minions are just tearing them apart bosses too yes while we're talking about the skills there will be the hardest pit content running in the background to give you a feeling for this we put two points into bone splinters not using a basic skill and not using a core skill the only three points we have here is in hood flash for more corpses and we do have unliving energy just for more essence as we need to put a point in there to actually advance then we pump everything into corpse explosion yes we're using corpse explosion because it will give our minions nine percent more damage and it will give our minions 40 percent more damage as well why would we not not then explode some corpses to help them plus fortify and damage reduction and we ourselves on top of our minions doing millions of damage can support them to do more then the three point is a despite armor for the armor multiplier of 15 percent it's way too good now we already got four points in scale to warrior mastery because you can get multiple points in here and this four points is actually low you can get up to six if not even nine points easily into scale to warrior mastery to boost their damage i would rather boost the damage of our mages though because the mages is the main source of kaboom but boosting both definitely works out nicely then three points into movement speed more curse damage multiplier and then the decrepify to give us the cooldown reduction for our army of the dead now we're using corpse tendrils together with corpse tendrils making vulnerable so corpse tendrils is our source of vulnerable and then we have three points into gruesome mending which seems a bit weird what you receive 30 percent more healing why are we doing that we'll get to this in a second okay now three points into golem for the 75 percent damage multiplier army of the den to get us a very good amount of corpses and the damage boost from the new aspect plus then death defense for the armor and elemental resistance we're getting more critical strike and that is 30 percent critical strike on our minions i'm running around with a base of 50 percent critical strike right now and we're boosting that even further and hellbound commander does actually work i would highly recommend having this on your amulet because this damage multiplier multiplies really hard and finally, Kellen's Attic for 36% more attack speed on our minions. And together with our aspects, we're really reaching the 100% attack speed cap for the Cult Leader node. And we're even going beyond. And the reason for that will be clear with the gear. Right now, we have the Skeletal Reapers on because we want the super amount of corpses. And with the amount of attack speed, the corpses are insane. We did try the Skirmishers for the bonus damage multiplier on critical strikes. And it does work quite well against bosses. But the bonus amount of corpses corpses just works better to continuously have our minions get their nice and juicy damage boost and for me to have my fortify at max that I will be continuously fortified and damage reduced. 
Skeleton Mages are Shadow for the bonus damage increase. Yes, that's another 15% bonus damage increase. I did try to use the Bone Minions for the Bone Spear and tried out Bone Spear, but the minions just keep dying continuously and it gets a bit tedious and annoying. Could use your Cult Mages for the Vulnerable, but you get the Corpse Tunnels for that. So we'd rather end up just having another 15% damage multiplier on the Shadow Mages that allows them that boosts all our minions damage even further. Lastly, the golem is currently blood, and that is a simple 30% damage reduction. And I would probably sacrifice the golem for the bonus critical strike damage multiplier and go back to bone spear but you need this damage reduction because they took out a lot of damage reduction and you barely have any so you'll need to take anything you can especially as you go deeper into the pit plus the golem can actually do millions of damage hits so it's quite nice but this damage reduction truly helps to keep you alive right now the gear gets super interesting first Skeletal Warriors and Mages are in one aspect now. So that's two more. And no, it's not worth on the amulet. We have enough attack speed bonus. We have enough minions. We don't need it. We can temper this for bonus total armor and corpse explosion size to just make it bigger. And then master work that thing 12 times to boost the total armor even further. On our chest, we're running hardened bones for the damage reduction. And yes, the damage reduction is absolutely necessary for you and your minions. Cool thing is temper for corpse tendril size to have your corpse tendrils hit the whole screen. I thought this is going to be unnecessary. I was wrong. It is incredible, stupid, amazing. You can as well get five ranks to corpse explosion on your chest to masterwork this 12 times. By the way, for your helmet, in the list of possible affixes, and you can see that as the occultist, you can see that the helmet can actually get Gula Mastery, Skeletal Melch Mastery, and Skeletal Warrior Mastery. So we could get another plus three on mages or warriors on the helmet. Gloves are currently running the aspect of reanimation for the bonus of damage multiplier on our minions after 10 seconds when they're alive. More corpse tendril size and then corpse explosion damage. Corpse explosion damage. Just another 120% plus like that. You can get scale to warrior master, critical strike, damage, and chance, which is huge because your minions are going to crit like crazy. Now, pens are getting super interesting because this is temerity. Temerity gives you up to 80% of your max life as barium. Then we get more healing, potion drop rate, maximum life, and a lucky hit to heal. How are we healing though beyond our maximum life? And that's where it gets quite cute because on our boots, we're playing the skeletal priest affects us. That means whenever we summon a minion beyond our max minions, I get a 30% damage multiplier that makes our minions do more damage and I get healed for 30% of my max HP over eight seconds. Now that heal is amplified by our skills with the plus 30% more healing from all the healing sources, which means that I'm continuously over healing and continuously over barrier <laughs> to then have a super barrier happening. Currently I'm at 25,000 life and that's actually actually low because I'm missing gems on my pants that will bring me up to 28,000 life roughly and I'll be never able to die again perfection the boots have skeletal mage mastery which is amazing then you can have max life and int here's movement speed and corpse explosion size corpse tendril size or something like this is possible to temper now the weapon has the crazy aspect now weapon has the crazy aspect army of the dead active 94 percent more damage so that is another 100 damage on the 40 percent damage multiplier on the 150 percent damage multiplier on the 45 percent damage multiplier on the 100 <laughs> all the damage multiplier multiplier ring. Then we have a greater affix for attack speed to boost the attack speed even further. And it doesn't matter if you go over 100% attack speed on your minions, it is worth it. Critical strike damage can be tempered, damage to distant enemies can be re-rolled. And here's an interesting thing about tempering. Now I do have the damage to distant enemies already master worked, correct? But I can now go for my offensive aspects and I could re-roll this into corpse explosion damage or just simply all damage if I wanted to. And it will keep the master work. So the boosted damage to distant enemies, you could get even higher. Or your boosted chance for skeletal mages to attack twice, you could try to temper into a higher percentual chance of 34% instead of 26%. Because yes, our temper here is really cool. Skeletal mages attack twice. And that is so important because the double attack gives you more attacks and that works with the Ring of Mendel. 
I'll explain in a second. Because first, let's look at our focus. Currently, it has the corpse tunnels on and the corpse tunnels get boosted to a 50% damage multiplier. And right now, the way how the bonus critical strike damages works, it's so easy to get 700, 800%, over a thousand percent, especially if you do sacrifice the golem in lower pit tiers, getting over a thousand percent critical strike damage without the 50% multiplier here is super easy. I'm trying something interesting on the focus. We had the bonus 40% damage. The second temper would be up to a 40% chance to deal 24,000 physical damage. That's a lucky hit. So if I lucky hit with any of my abilities, then I suddenly do 24,000 damage and that can critical strike up with all your multipliers or everything. Intriguing. Works very well with Shadow, by the way, because instead of physical, it can also be Shadow damage. Now to the Ring of Mandeln and why it's absolutely mandatory for minions. You might talk about pure minions and then, oh, I don't want Ring of Mandeln, but that's just simply stupid. It gives you attack speed and attack speed is needed for the Cult Leader node to go crazy. It's the last item that has maximum minion life on it, which is not really necessary because your minions survive, but every sixth attack from each minion is empowered, exploding for 24,000 damage. Boom. And that's the thing about the Ring of Mandeln right now. If I'm AFK, if I'm standing in my minions AFK, the Ring of Mandeln works. Before it was always, you had to do everything in your power to make the Ring of Mandeln work. And it was kind of feeling like I'm doing all the work, my minions are not. Now I can just stand there and the Ring of Mandeln works. It comes from the Beast of Eyes. You have to do Nightmare Dungeons for that to get the Distilled Fear. And it just empowers your minions like crazy. It is an absolute no-brainer item at this point. I've been experimenting with the Ring of Sacrilegious Souls on top of this. And interestingly enough, if you masterwork this, your corpse skills can go higher. Essence Max Life can go higher. Lucky Hit Chance can go higher. Now, the Ray Skeleton every now and then summons the Priest. Yes. So your priest gets automatically summoned for the bonus damage and the heal. The corpse explosions happens and you essentially get more corpse tendrils. Now I've been thinking for this build to actually put in Black River instead of my wand currently. And if I would put in Black River, then I would remove the aspect of reanimation for my gloves because the minion damage is already absolutely incredible. And the Black River would essentially give us a bigger corpse explosion, more corpse interaction, give us Flash Eater, the Paragon node easier, and even more Fuel by Death multiplier to increase our minions damage. It would heal us on minion kill, and that heal on minion kill would then work with Temerity to continuously over barrier us even more. Lastly, on the amulet, we're currently having the corpse explosion damage running and resource cost reduction. The key resource cost reduction is not needed anymore. I was rocking that because I was trying out a bone spear build. Now we could rather look for a temper of ultimate cooldown reduction, golem active cooldown reduction, for example. That will work vastly better than what we have right now. I have a greater affix of total armor here. That's almost 40% total armor bonus. Max life and movement speed. I'd rather have Hellbent Commander for the bonus damage multiplier. Because yes, more ranks than Hellbent Commander are going bonkers. And the best part about the Paragon board is we're not boosting our own damage. There's no bone graph board. There's not me trying to get bone skills up, me to boost my actual core skill. No, I'm just multiplying the minion damage. And then on top of multiplying the minion damage, I'm making sure that my corpse explosion is nasty. Because the corpse explosion being nasty with Axiomation gives me bonus fortify and bonus damage reduction. That's a no-brainer to actually get me going. Then we're heading into the Flesh Eater board for the 40% damage multiplier. That damage multiplier works on the Ring of Mandeln to make our minions crazier. And then we pick up all the crit damage nodes that they would do even more crit damage. And with the Corporal Glyph, they get another 10% multiplier. And since I have 12 minions, I get another 12% movement speed bonus. That brings us into the Cult Leader board. And there we get 30% more damage multiplicative for every 20 attack speed bonus up to a cap of 100. We are above 100%, which gives us more attacks, more Mandel, more damage, but even more damage multiplier. We're boosting the minion damage as much as we can, the damage reduction, and then here in the middle, you have even more attack speed. Moving then on top into the skeletal mage damage bonus and elemental resistance. That one is really good to have your minions never die to any elemental hazard. And then here on the left, you get bonus minion armor and minion life. I will have to experiment if I can put this node away and my minions would still survive because the only thing that kills them currently is poison damage. And that really doesn't 
matter because Posen is just simply overtuned. Nothing else kills them. Then we're zooming over the Bloodbath board for more damage while fortified and the dexterity nodes for the huge amount of critical strike damage on the Essence Glyph. And yes, that 22% multiplier works on your minions as well. And lastly, we move into the Hulking Monstrosity board, not to take the Hulking Monstrosity because we don't have the points for that, but to just simply snack of the note of damage while Golem is active and armor while Golem is active. And that, and that allows us to go up to 15,000 armor currently without using Juggernaut or anything. By the way, if you're struggling, by the way, if you're struggling to hit any, by the way, if you're struggling to hit any stat goal, you could think about taking your emeralds or anything to put more dexterity on your armor. This would be, for example, 27 dex plus. And right now I'm lacking willpower here, but so much that is not worth it. Oh, and I forget something. From the cult leader board, we're going downwards into the Scent of Death board for the damage reduction with corpses nearby. That is absolutely needed. We can pick up more critical strike damage and critical strike damage here, missing some dexterity, and that is the 27 decks we're talking about to get these two nodes. And then we're having the Shadow Resilience happen for more Shadow Resistance and Max Life, because that allows us to be Max Resistanced out. And lastly, we're picking up Undaunted for damage while fortified, but more, you gain up to 10% damage reduction the more fortified you have which gives us another 14% damage reduction in total for fortifying with the Exhumation and the Undaunted Glyph to then not die. This in total creates an absolute crazy minion board. Kills bosses, deletes enemies, keeps you alive. Minions are aggressive, but they're not perfect yet. Sometimes minions are moving weird, especially when I'm running in a circle to avoid the damage from the pit end boss. The minions sometimes follow me, but I want them to attack the boss and the golem AI could be vastly smarter. So things are looking good, but Necro is still missing any kind of real defensive skill, a bone armor, an actual native way to get barrier like the Sorg that we could survive and don't have to rely on finding a unique like Temerity to be able to then soak up barrier to not die, which is a little bit stupid that we need these extra steps just to merely survive. If you have more minion feedback and input, put it into the comments. We are gathering this for Blizzard at the end of the PTR to truly make this as amazing as it could be. And if you now want to know more about tormented bosses and why they have a problem, you should definitely check out this video. Thank you.